What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel, Driver Ryan. I'm working on the black Miata tonight, and I've got some spot welds to remove. So, chances are if you search this video, you want to know how to properly remove spot welds. And I will show you the exact tools that you'll need. Don't worry, they're not too expensive. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. So, if you're like me, at one point I, I thought this was a daunting task, and I was like, there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this, but trust me, it's easy. Let's get right into it and be able to do it yourself. So I'm replacing the sway bar mounts on my NA Miata. And do you see that circular looking thing in between the two bolts? That's the spot weld that we need to get out. If you're new to the channel, I'm building this 95 Miata to be a clean track toy. So if you want to follow along with the build, feel free. Or check out some of my other builds or other videos. If you want me to shut my mouth and just tell you how to remove a spot weld, that's fine too. If I get it show you what to do. So these are the tools that you're definitely going to want to have before starting this job. Some of them are basic, some of them are kind of specialty tools, and like all of my tutorials, I'll link everything in the description below so you don't have to think about it or search for it. It's right there. Go get it for yourself. But I'll go in order of operations here. You're going to want a hammer and a punch just so you can mark the center of the spot weld before you start drilling into it. Now, this is what you definitely, definitely want to get. Now, I'm not sponsored by this company or anything. I just love this tool and it's really a game changer. Actually, I'll show you on the, the one that I already have in the drill. So it's a spot weld remover drill bit. As you can see, it has the center point and then the drill bit itself. So this will get the spot welds out way more precisely and there's less of a chance of going right through. Like if you were to use just a regular drill bit or something, there's a a greater chance you'll go straight through the spot weld and then you have a hole in your frame and you know we'd rather not have a hole if we could if we could help it so it comes with a bunch of backups it's cheap and I don't know I just like having the right tool for the job so now after you have that drilled out and it'll all make sense as I go along and show you the process you're gonna either want to hammer and chisel to knock it off or you could grind it grind it down. Either way, I'm probably going to use the grinder because it's faster, easier, and uh, I think it just does a better job than chiseling it away. But this will work if that's all you have. Now, let's actually drill out a spot weld. So I'm going to leave this bolted up for now so that everything stays tight while I'm drilling it out and it doesn't vibrate around. So the first thing you're going to do is take your punch and your hammer and just mark the center point of the spot weld now for the fun part we marked our center point with a hammer and punch so now we can just feel around with the tip of the drill bit and it'll center itself found it now we can just start drilling So you can see kind of what it looks like. The center of the spot weld is still there. Once I take this bracket off, we'll grind that off. And of course, when I did it on camera, the drill walked away from me a couple times, but I'll sand that and paint it, make it all nice. Uh, here's a little tip. Start with the bit, um, you know, away from the surface, not in direct contact. Go a pretty high speed, slowly go into it at a high speed. And then once you find your groove and it kind of finds its way, then start applying a lot of pressure. If you go too light, um, it'll walk away like what happened here. So, I mean, don't get too bent out of shape if it happens. It's fixable. Just to show you the other side for reference, I already took the bracket off on this side so you can see. The drill did walk away from me just once on this side, but overall, it came out pretty good. Very last step, we got to grind this. Nice and flush. So I'm going to take my grinding wheel, attach to my air compressor, and uh, should blast right through it. Uh. 
that looks pretty good. Pretty good and flush to me. I'm going to sand it and paint it and make it perfect, but for this tutorial, that's it. The job is complete. That's it for today's video. In the next video, I can actually install these now, the stout mounts. And I'll be installing the Flying Miata end links and Racing Beat front tubular sway bar on the old Miata. So, thank you all for watching and tuning in. I hope this was helpful to somebody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the algorithm. Or at least I think it does. Who really knows with YouTube? Thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.